Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 429. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 423 to 430. In this trick we want to add, we want to find out how many records have the same ID in two columns. How many total? So one way to do it is just to do an if. If this ID equals this ID, then please, the value if true, put a 1. Otherwise, put a 0. Close parentheses, and then Control Enter, and copy it down. Double click that fill handle and copy it down. Now I come down to the bottom and Alt equals. And that will add up. There's two of them that are the same, and we can do whatever we want, filter or um, extract or delete or whatever. Uh, the ones that are not the same or the same. But anyway, we added them up. Another bizarre function from the engineering is delta. Delta does exactly what that if just does. It looks at two things and says, are they the same? So you put comma, uh, the first number, and then the second number. It looks at two numbers. If they're the same, it puts a 1. Otherwise, it'll put a 0. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Delta to do that. Now, and then you'd come down here, obviously, and then Alt equals. That's got to be one of the weirdest functions ever, right? Now, if you don't want to waste all this real estate, uh, then there's a simple formula we can use. We'll use sum product equals sum product. Oh, sum product. Some product uh, can handle arrays without doing Control Shift Enter. And what we really want to do is we want to take this whole column and say, is it equal to this whole column? Um, that'll give us a series, an array of trues and falses. And then we'll just convert those trues and falses to uh, ones and zeros. I'm going to convert that array of trues and falses to ones and zeros by using double negative. Why double negative instead of multiplying 1, 1, or dividing by 1? Because it's faster calculating and in big spreadsheets that matter. All right, so I put double negative, and then the array is just going to be that. Click there, Control Shift Down Arrow, equals. So I'm saying that whole range is equal to, and click on the top, Control Shift Down Arrow, that range right there, close parentheses. The double negative has to be on the outside uh, of the trues and falses. The sum product will then add all the ones and zeros. Um, what did I do wrong there? Um, not available. Let's run Formula Evaluator, Alt T U F, and then um, there's an N A at the end. So that means not available. So I must have uh, highlighted the wrong range. And sure enough, I did. I copied uh, all the way down there. So I'm going to edit this right there like that, if 25, 24. I'm going to edit this by pointing to my cursor and then click and drag in that range so I've removed that word there. And now when I hit Enter, that will work just fine. All right, uh, we'll see you next trick.